In a few months, I'll be 30 years old. And for the first time, I'm thinking about putting down roots. So I ask myself, what makes a good home? Since 1970, the average house size in the United States has doubled. But for some people, bigger isn't necessarily better. I heard about these people who live in tiny houses, and I wanted to know more. You know, I, I guess the primary asset that comes with a small house is freedom. It's really just uh, the world gets a lot bigger when you're living small because I can, uh, I can afford to do a lot more things now in terms of both cash and time. Um, the whole world is now my living room. Visiting other small homes inspired me to simplify my own life. I set out to build a tiny house and establish a place in the mountains. The question I've always had is whether Christopher will actually finish the tiny house. I've never built anything before. Uh, it is a quite a challenging project and he's learning this as he goes. This project is harder than I expected, but I think it will be worth it. The, the interesting thing about the tiny house movement is, is whether we can um, turn it into an innovation. We don't all have to give up all our material possessions and live in 89 square feet, but let's think about maybe giving up our McMansions and, and building a little smarter.